Leaving Shuhang is in everyone's best interests. However, we modifiers will stand with Shuhang until the very end. <sighs> Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we will be taking a look at everyone's favorite merchant from Zhu Heng, Omnisite, Lu Liang. Lu Liang is a sub-DPS, Wen support unit. She belongs to the Tianyuan faction of characters, and uses traces as the resource to execute her skills. Lu Liang is a fairly simple modifier to operate, although she is usually left to the AI, her manual DPS capabilities should not be overlooked. One major downside to our little merchant here is, her skills cast time can be a bit lengthy. And without any iframes, she can be a magnet for incoming attacks while casting her follow-up attacks. Her follow-up attacks are a big part of her core gameplay mechanics, and can be performed after the final sequence of her basic attack, skill 1 cast, and skill 2 cast, by using skill 3. Follow-up attacks will grant one trace on hit, and a set amount of fortune. The max amount of fortune by default is 50. Her basic attack has five sequences. After the final sequence, casting skill 3 will weave in a follow-up attack and grants one trace on hit, and six fortune. Her dodge skill will not interrupt her basic attack sequence, will trigger a two seconds time fracture, and grants 10 fortune. Skill 1 uses her board to yeet herself into the enemy, after which, Skill 3 can be weaved in to perform up to 3 follow-up attacks and gain 10 stacks of fortune. Skill 2 spins her board towards the enemies in front of her before crashing into them dealing wind damage. After which skill 3 can be weaved in up to 5 times to gain 14 stacks of fortune. Skill 3, as mentioned before, is used as a follow-up to the final sequence of her basic attack, Skill 1 and Skill 2. This skill can also be used independently to trigger her buff, but will require her to be in possession of four traces. While she is in possession of four traces, casting skill three will consume all traces and fortune to deal massive damage to the surrounding targets. The more fortune consumed, the stronger the damage dealt. In addition, the team's when damage is increased by 10%, and by an additional 0.6% for every one fortune consumed, this buff remains active for 16 seconds. Because of this, it is recommended to use skill 3 while you are in possession of the 50 stacks of fortune for the full 40% damage buff. Her ultimate will deal wind damage and generate a coin for herself. While this coin is active, all party members with a coin will have their wind damage increase by 33%. In addition, when a modifier with a coin attacks, the coin will launch a coordinated attack, gathering nearby enemies and lower their wind resistance by 18%. The coins will remain active for 12 seconds. While Taiyi Gengchen is in the party, their ultimate skill chain deals massive damage to the surrounding targets. The ultimate has a fixed 1.60% critical rate, and if a critical hit occurs, the damage increases by an additional 40%. The independent damage also increases by 40%. Additionally, Lu Liang generates a coin that follows herself for 12 seconds. Hopefully by now you have a good understanding of her skills. The goal when playing Lu Liang is to accumulate the 50 stacks of fortune in order to buff the team's wind damage by 40% when skill 3 is cast. To achieve this as quickly as possible, here is the combo I like to use.
As always, use basic attacks to fill in the gaps while our skills are on cooldown. If you trigger her dodge effect at any point during the combo, you will gain bonus fortune, allowing you to have the max required stacks even quicker. This is very noticeable when using yellow code, since it already grants a 30% buff to fortune generation. When it comes to ether codes, 3 red is going to be the go-to for most wind teams. This will allow all teammates to gain a coin after her ultimate is cast. Decrease the frequency of the coin's coordinated attacks from every 2 seconds to every 1 seconds. Increase the crit damage of wind attacks launched by teammates with a coin by 18% and can stack up to 5 times. Yellow code sounds good on paper, but it's just red without the benefit of granting all teammates the coin. It does provide a bonus 10% crit rate, but it's not worth the trade-off. And blue code is her DPS line and will trade off the buff she once provided for personal damage. The combo I showcased earlier was on blue code, with the support set Nibelungen lead on. With a proper DPS set, she can easily rival most of our current DPS units. One blue and two yellow is also a viable option for DPS, and will allow her to keep her support capabilities. As always, our go-to functor is going to be Otherworlder Zheng, providing her bonus, normal attack damage, skill damage, and ultimate damage with a very easily triggered requirement. Otherworlder Shu Hu on support, Lu Liang will grant her the ability to armor break, further increasing her support capabilities. Of course, her signature functor, Otherworld Hu Jiao is going to be her best in slot. It will increase the duration of the coins generated by her ultimate, and increase the effectiveness of its wind resistance shred, grants ultimate charge to teammates, and trigger an explosion at their location as it leaves the field. This explosion will inflict armor break on nearby targets. Lastly, the last sequence of her follow-up attacks will reduce the cooldown of her ultimate, and grants 10 fortune on ultimate or ultimate skill chain cast. Her functor will raise her personal damage, but it is mostly a buff to her support capabilities. For support Lu Liang, the new Pixiu's fortunes will provide a 10% wind resistance shred to enemies hit, and increase the crit rate of teammates under the effect of a wind buff by 8%. Go ahead and set them on slots 1, 2, and 3. For slots, 4, 5 and 6. Niba Lungenlad will increase ultimate charge regeneration by 30% and increase ultimate damage by 30%. For her DPS option, we want to add the new set to slots 1, 3 and 5 and add the Legacy Moondrifter to slots 2, 4 and 6. The set increases skill damage of trace modifiers by 10% and grants a chance to gain a trace when a skill or ultimate is cast. For enchantments, Look for attack, skill damage, crit rate, crit damage, and loop back on the second line for faster ultimates. Warps gives you the freedom to personalize your characters in a way that best fits your playstyle. As such, the ones I recommend may not be the best ones for you. But if you want my recommendations, they are as follows. For support Lu Liang, run two power-up melee and two executioners for slots one and two. For slots 3 and 4, 2 Unfetters and 2 Telepathize Force Field 1s. Savage is a possible option here if you find yourself losing a lot of HP in battle. And lastly, for slots 5 and 6, 2 Cognition Iterated for a stronger buff from her ultimate. 2 Ultimate Equations if she has a Skill Chain Partner, or 2 Evolution Particles if she does not. For DPS, replace the Unfetters on slots 3 and 4 with 2 EM Flux and add two evolution particles and two telekinesis vectors to slots five and six. When it comes to teammates, this little lady is pretty picky. And by that I mean she only really wants to be paired with other wind modifiers. Of course you can run her wherever you want, she just does better on wind teams. Her signature team consists of herself on red code, alongside Thor and Osiris. 
Their skill chain greatly buff trace modifiers, and her abilities will greatly amplify 2.0 Osiris. The second team consists of herself, Ling Guang, and Ying Zhao, so add that one to your wish list. The third team consists of herself, Geng Cheng, and Meng Zhang. Of course, you can always run her as an alt bot and add gathering capability to teams that don't have access to Geng Chen. In closing, Omni Sight Lu Liang is a pretty fun and easy to play modifier, but her role being tied to win support means she is somewhat limited. That being said, this is a modifier I am sure Osiris mains have been waiting for for quite some time. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not